When competitors arrive at Oswego Speedway or when race fans stop at the ticket office, chances are they will be sold an admission ticket by either Don or Marsha Bartlett. Don, a hobbyist videographer, offered to film the races at Oswego Speedway back in 1972 with his newly acquired Kodak Brownie movie camera from the roof of the infield concession stand. When the roof over the grandstand was completed, Don moved to his perch just outside of the announcer's booth overlooking the speedway. And 40 plus years later, he is still there every Saturday night filming all the races. That's after completing his first job of the evening. Back in the mid-70s, Don was chosen to help sell pit passes. Up to this point, track owner Harry Caruso had only trusted his longtime employee Charlie Hopkins to do the job. But Don's background as a longtime trusted employee of Phase Drugstore's regional drug division eased Harry's decision in putting Donnie in the small booth behind the fence near the pit entrance. It is from there that for the next 40 years and counting, Don has welcomed drivers, owners, and crew members alike to the Speedway by relieving them of several odd dollars for a pit pass and a smile. Both succeeding owners of the Speedway from the Caruso era have retained his services. Donnie's wife, Marsha, has always accompanied him to the races. In the early years, while raising daughters Patty, Tammy, and Andrea, she was pretty much a race fan. But one of Donnie's many irons in the fire was selling Gator newspapers at area racetracks. Soon, Marsha was manning the selling table at Oswego. This led to George Caruso having her sell Eagle programs at the table as well. This went on for many years, and just about the time when Marsha's arthritis got too much for her to stand outside any longer, Pat Furlong and Steve Joya bought the Speedway. They started using the General Speedway office for their main ticket sales venue, and Marsha, arriving early on Saturday with Don, began helping out there to kill time, and thus a new chapter in her life at Oswego Speedway began. Don and Marsha have no plans on slowing down, and hope to see everyone at the ticket windows come opening day 2016. Congratulations to Mitchell Speedway Press, Oswego Speedway Hall of Fame inductees, Don and Marsha Bartlett.